Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back, an old man. Where are you at today? I tell you what, we're on the Chippewa Floors. I tell you what a beautiful place to be here in northwestern Wisconsin, outside of Hayward, Wisconsin. And what do we got going on today? We got some chicken legs on the tripod, folks. Uh, have you ever cooked over an open fire before? That's what we're doing today. And one of the most convenient ways of doing it is with a tripod. I've got this tripod that I've had about 15 years ago, uh, and it is uh, awesome. And we're going to show you how to cook on it today, along with some taters. So I will keep on watching, and we'll give you all the details. All right, folks, talk about getting a real bed of coals down, folks. That we ain't burning Royal Oak here. We ain't burning B and B. We're being burning the real stuff. Oak here that uh, you know, get get down to a nice bed of coals before we get those chicken legs on. All right, folks, there's the setup. You can see we've got a grate that came at, with the campsite. In those tin foil packages, aluminum foil packages, we've just got uh, some uh, potato and some onion, a little bit of oil on there, and there's our chicken legs, I'll tell you what. We're gonna keep on slowly roasting these over the oak fire, and uh, if you're wondering what I'm using for seasoning, that's, uh, you know how I like this stuff. The Nature's Seasoning from Morton's, I'll tell you what, this is just all good stuff. And I'm just gonna keep on slowly turning this, and I'll slowly roast these for a little over an hour. And I'll give you a couple of look-sees as we proceed, but folks, this is <laughs> this is gonna be good eating. Stay tuned. All right, folks, using the Blackstone to help out. I got those potatoes. They are pretty much done, and I got them in the Blackstone on low, which is, <laughs> says 250 right there. A little bit more than that, and you can see our chicken there browning up. A little bit nice, that's why I took the uh, took potatoes off there, because that cover limited me as to how long I could go with my tripod. And folks, uh, I tell you what, this tripod, a lot of questions going to be asked about this. Got about 15 years ago, there was a guy on the internet, of all things, from 15 years ago, that was making these things. And I couldn't even tell you who he is to this day. I'm sure he's not on Amazon, but these are all handmade. And I'll tell you what, it is uh, something that I'll keep and give to my kids because this is the... Uh, this is ultimate for camping right here. And the grate right there you're looking at, I, I, I did, that's new grate. Picked that up off uh, Amazon. It's like, a, they call it a 26 inch, uh, but it's actually, I just measured it as 24 inch and there's no handles or anything. It's meant just for this. So uh, we'll keep on cooking here, give you a couple more look-sees. I'll tell you what, are you getting hungry? Cause oh, I am, this is looking mighty nice. <laughs> you want a good way to hold your tongs while you're camping? We're shoveling the ground, and there you go. Custom. Oh man, you can see oh, things are starting to brown up really nice. Keep on turning them, keep on uh, spinning the grate there. Um, you can see, uh, I started the fire about an hour and a half beforehand. This is oak, and it got some nice charcoal bed down. Then you can see I've got uh, one split on the side, on both sides, and then occasionally put a split in the middle. But I'll tell you what, this is what's gonna be the best chicken ever. So keep on watching, folks. Give you a look, see, uh, yeah, probably one or two more, and then we'll plate them up. Oh man, gorgeous looking chicken legs there. Slow roasted over an oak fire. Folks, you can't get any better than that. Let's get her plated up. Oh, look at that chicken right there. That's awesome stuff. And oh, potatoes and chicken. I got thumbs up and I didn't even have to ask for it. <laughs> folks, I'll tell you what, super simple to do. On the fire, what a great way to cook. Tom Horseman on YouTube, thumbs up, leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching. Really do appreciate it.